Jeremy Corbyn and his shadow chancellor were pressed into action early today as an embarrassed delegate got her wheelchair stuck on the platform. If they stand for anything, these two, it's helping those who can't help themselves. But giving his speech, the first thing John McDonnell did was tone down his rhetoric. This is not going to be my usual rant. And there's no jokes. They get me into trouble. Mr McDonnell said he would tackle the deficit, but in a different way to the Conservatives. Labour's plan to balance the books will be aggressive. We will force people like Starbucks, Vodafone, Amazon and Google and all the others to pay their share of taxes. But beyond getting corporations to pay up and encouraging growth, notions every party could agree with, there wasn't a great deal of hard policy here. There will, however, be a lot of reviews. I've invited Lord Bob Kersley, former head of the civil service, to bring together a team to review the operation of the Treasury itself. I'll also be setting up a review of the Bank of England. We'll review the operation and resourcing of Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs. Above all, though, this was an anti-austerity speech. We're saying tackling the deficit is important but we're rejecting austerity as the means to do it. As socialists, we will display our competence with compassion. John McDonnell didn't have much to say about tax rises in his speech, although earlier in an interview with ITV News, he did suggest a higher 60p top rate of income tax could be up for grabs. At the moment, the Labour Party policy is to take it back to the 50, and because we oppose the last Previously cut. Previously said 60. Well, that will be part of the debate that we have. Yep. That despite Jeremy Corbyn saying the top rate would stay at 50. There is a slightly chaotic feeling here as the new leadership establish themselves. It's difficult to pin them down on policy and the new politics Jeremy Corbyn's promised has yet to be proved. Carl Dinan, ITV News, Brighton.